In this video, you're gonna learn how to send more advanced messages with your chatbot. And so last time, if you go look at the code there, all we did was send a text and we basically just echoed what the user said. But what if we wanted to send images, you know, buttons, all these other things? Well, that's what we're gonna learn how to do today. And so we'll start off by commenting this because basically what this does is it sends like kind of the same type of thing back every time. And so what we're gonna to wanna to do is we are gonna to wanna to create a decide message function and based on what the user says, we're gonna decide what to send. And so inside of this decide message function, we'll have text one be our parameter name. And basically we are gonna do let text equal text one dot two lowercase. And what this is gonna do is no matter what the user sends us, we're gonna convert that text to lowercase so that way we can mess with it, run some algorithm on it to then decide what to send back to the user as the bot. And so here we are just gonna do a bunch of if statements, you know, just checking like, are they sending us a season? And so we say summer and winter. If they send any of those back, then we'll go ahead and send something special. If not, then they don't know how it works. And so eventually we'll create a button message that lets them choose one of the seasons. But this is how we'll start off. And notice I made summer and winter lowercase, and that's because our text is gonna be lowercase. And so if I made this a capital S, then this statement, even if I sent summer, would never be true because we converted text to lowercase. So we'll change that back. And inside of here, right now, we'll just say that I like fall. And then eventually we'll send our question, which is what is your favorite season? But we're only giving them two options for this tutorial. And so how do we create these cool messages? Well, we're gonna go ahead and go to Google and we're just gonna search Facebook send API reference. And the documentation is a great thing. That is what we're looking at here. And so if you just kind of type in, eventually you'll get to this if you're just like, how do I send a message or how do I send you know, an image in Facebook with a bot? Well, you'll come to this site here and we'll make it big like that. And we have all of these things that we can send. We can send the text message, which is what we did in the last video, image, audio, button, all of these things. And we are gonna start off with the button template. And so basically when we send a button message, this is what we want it to look like. And so we're like, okay, that looks good. We'll have like, what is your favorite season here? And then we'll have our two options, summer and winter. And so then we go ahead and look at this and it's like, this does not look like JavaScript. Well, it kind of does. If we go back to our text message, our send text, we had something that was the message data, we had a sender, and then we sent some kind of request. And so if we look back at this code, we have a recipient, which is kind of like our sender. We have this message, and this message looks a lot like our message data that was in our code. And so what we can do is we can go ahead and copy all of this, making sure we're getting the right amount. We'll copy, command, or control, save, C. Yeah, so we'll have this, and this is gonna be the key to whatever message we want to send. And in this case, this is the key for our button message. So we'll go back here, and we're gonna create another function that's basically going to send a button message, and we'll have a sender, and we'll have some text, and this text will be whatever is at the top here. And so in our case, we'll have that parameter have the value, you know, what's your favorite season? And so in here, we have this message data that was in our text, so we're also gonna create that here, let message data equal. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste that whole attachment thing. And this will make more sense in a minute, but basically our attachment, like this whole thing that we're sending is super, super important because that's our data. So this already has kind of some template information in it, but we're gonna to wanna to change that. And so we have our attachment, which is everything we wanna send. It's a template, our payload, we know it's gonna be a button. What is our text gonna be? Well, our text, this what do you want to do next, matches up with this. And this is like how you do documentation, kind of using it to your advantage. And we'll just put the text here, which is our variable. And that will be at the top of the message. And then we have our buttons. And if we look at what these buttons match up to in the picture that we just saw, so we had something that was show website. So we had something that was show website. 
okay, that's the first button, and then start chatting is the second button, start chatting. So we can control what's in those buttons by just typing whatever we want here. And now we are actually gonna make these both a post back, and we are not gonna have a URL associated with them. Instead, we're gonna have the title. So we're basically making these two buttons fairly the same in functionality, but they're just gonna send back other stuff. And we are gonna wanna say summer is one, and then we are gonna wanna say that the title of the other is winter. And what are we gonna send back? Well, we are going to change title here to payload, and we are going to send back summer if we choose summer, and then we're gonna choose winter if it's winter. And so what exactly is this doing? Well, we have a type, which is post back, which is basically like the bot sends something like, hey, here's this button. The user chooses a button and then whatever the user chooses will send back and that will be kind of their message. And we can actually keep track of this in our, up here, inside of here. So we can say if event.postback, meaning we have a postback event versus a message, which is what the user types in. Let text, which is gonna be a variable, be json.stringify event.postback. So we'll go ahead and grab the postback event and get the text out of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and decide message with that text. And so we, in this case, are treating it just like a regular message, but it's a post back, which is why we need this extra if statement. And then if we ever wanted to treat post backs differently, then we could go ahead and just edit this code here. Going back down, we'll save this, and we're not done with the send button message. In our send text message, we had this big long thing that was sending our request that we wanted to send a message. And in this case, our message data continued, you know, only had text. But in this case, our message data is really big. And so in order to keep our functions concise, we are going to add a method here and it's going to be called request or send request. And it is gonna take the sender and then the message data. And we are actually gonna create this function down here. We'll say function send request sender message data. And we're gonna copy what's in the send text method. So go ahead and actually delete that and we're gonna replace it with send request sender message data. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste it here because the requests are gonna be the same. The thing that differs between sending a button request versus a text request is our message data and that we create in our individual functions send text and send button message. And so when we call this, this will set up the request you know, correctly. It will get the sender and message data right from the parameters and whatever we put into those um, parameters as arguments. And so now we can send a request and we have this button. Just need to call it here. And so what we'll do is we'll send button message. We'll have the sender. And then our text is gonna be, what is your favorite season? So what's gonna happen here is if, you know, um, we do not say summer or winter, then we'll go ahead and go to the, this else statement. We'll send the text that the bot likes fall, and then we'll send this button message that says, what is your favorite season at the top? And then if we look at the message data down here, we see summer is gonna be you know, a label for one of the buttons, winter will be another, and then once we choose which one we want to send, then we'll be going into these clauses because it'll send back summer. We'll go into the side message, and then whatever we end up putting in here, will be run. So now let's send an image message. So we'll go ahead and we have our send text, we have our send button. Let's do function send image message, sender and text. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did before and that we're gonna go ahead and find our image attachment. That's exactly what we wanna send. We'll see, okay, we have the sender, we have message. Let's go ahead and copy this message data that we want to send. Go back over here, we'll say let message data equal, paste that in. Do we want to send this image? Maybe not. We'll go ahead and actually find a picture of summer. So we'll say picture of summer and go find an image super quickly. We'll copy this link, go back over here, and just paste it here. 
So what we could have done is instead of pasting, you know, this direct URL right here, we could have made it a parameter and said image URL here. And then whenever we call this function, we'll use, you know, whatever image URL was there. So then we could replace that with this. You could do that, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we are only using this for the summer. And so we'll go back up and we'll say send an image message for the summer. So we'll have sender and we don't really need the text in this case. And so we'll go ahead and take away the text there. Um, so yeah, so in this case, we're only using this one function for summer. So we don't really need to add that image URL as a parameter, but you could if you wanted to use the send image message for other cases. And so if you also wanted to use it for winter, you could add that parameter there and then you would add, you know, whatever the URL is there. But we are not doing that in this case because it's a tutorial. And so now going back down here, we have the message data. Now we just need to go ahead and send request and we'll go sender message data, because again, the message data is what differentiates an image, a button, and a text. So we'll save that. And so now we have our send image message. Now we just need something for our winter message. And so we'll go back down and create another method right below our send image message. We'll go function, send, we'll call it a generic message. We'll have a sender, and then we'll figure out if we need text later. And so we have generic message here. We'll go back to our great documentation. We have the generic template here. We'll click that. Ooh, that's pretty, we like that. So we'll go ahead and go down here, copy everything that is in this message data. Hopefully we pick everything out there. We'll go ahead and do let message data equal this whole thing. And then we need to make sure we have these curly brackets around the whole thing. So we'll see where these match up and we'll need one more. And that matches up there because this is underlined. There we are. And then we'll add one more to close this function. And so now we have this kind of template idea and we're just gonna change the title and some of the URLs a little bit here. We're gonna go ahead and take away the item URL. We're going to change this to I love winter. We're gonna change the subtitle to I love winter. And we'll change the title to winter actually. So it's winter, I love winter. And then we'll go ahead and look up an image for us. And so we'll go winter image. Images, copy the link, go ahead and paste it in here. Again, you can make all of the title, image URL, subtitle, you can make them all parameters and then they can change when you call the function with different values. But in this case, we're just gonna hard code them and put them in here. And here we'll just have one button. So we'll go ahead and delete the second button. And it's gonna be a web URL, that's totally cool. But we're gonna change this to the Wikipedia page about winter. So we'll click this, copy the URL, and this will be, when you click the button, it will take you to this website instead of sending a message back. And we'll change the title of this button to more about winter. Save that. And now our message data is complete, so we'll go ahead and send request with the sender and the message data. And save that. And then we'll just go ahead, go back up to our decide message. And so if the user sends winter, either from pressing the button or typing it in as a text, we'll go ahead and do send generic message. And we'll just have the sender because the rest of the content is hard coded in this case. Of course, you could add the parameters so then you could have different values for like the image URL, all of that stuff, but this is it for now. And now that that's all done, we'll go ahead and put this on Heroku. So I'm gonna go to my command line here and we're gonna CD into our chatbots folder. We'll go get add dot. This was all covered in the last tutorial on chatbots. And so if this looks a little weird, go ahead and check on that. We'll say adding 
message types. We'll go get push Heroku master because that's where we're pushing it up to. We're pushing it up to the cloud. Let's go check it out and try to send a message. Okay, I like fall, what's your favorite season? In this case, I could either press the button, so I'll do that here, and it should send me a back a picture of summer, which is what our image URL was. And so yay, summer. If I chose winter, it would send me back a picture of winter, and it's loading here, and we say winter, I love winter, da da da. We'll click this, we have more about winter, and this is the Wikipedia page we set up. And so all of this seems to work pretty well. Um, I could also type in summer. We'll do this one lowercase to see what happens. And I also get that picture of summer. And so going back to the code, we'll see exactly how we did this. Basically, da -da -da, our decide message function was key. We converted the text to lowercase. If it, we know our text included summer, we sent the image message. And so if I said summer is awesome, we'll still send back that summer image because we're looking at includes. Does it have this input versus does it match this input? Then for winter, we sent uh, text includes winter. We'll send back the generic message. And so we'll say winter is great. And it will send back the generic message with the image we set, the title we set, and then the subtitle and the button link thing. And then if we said anything else, we got the text, you know, I like fall, and then we sent back the button message with the two different seasons as buttons. And so we'll say hello, just something completely different. I like fall, what's your favorite season? And then the cycle starts again. So this is a really good start if you wanted to build some kind of summer weather type of seasonal app. You could do it just like this for Messenger. And now you know how to create a Facebook chatbot. And so I'll see you next week with a new video. See you then.